At last, she enters the forbidden tomb. Wow! By night, the great bat stole the queen at 30 north and 90 east. From her pen, she wrote her heart. With light, unlock her love's release. I wonder if the White Queen is lonely. Find the White Queen. Do the coordinates actually matter? The head of King David. From a shepherd to a king. Imagine that. Wow. <laughs> the great Lara Croft goes on a journey of intrigue and peril as she unravels the mystery of the White Queen, an epic tale of adventure. The cup of St. John. The apostle had been given a chalice of poisoned wine, but after his blessing, the poison transformed into a snake, and he drank the wine unharmed. Croft Private Collection, it says on the, the little plaque. It's actually a piece of paper, not a plaque. The coordinates might have something to do with the globe. Likely, possibly. This is an old game. Two shields and a white crown. Could that be the White Queen? That's your job to figure out, isn't it? A Byzantine scroll. Justice is the constant and perpetual wish to render everyone his due. Emperor Justinian. It sometimes it feels like Lara knows way too much about archaeology, especially for her age, but then you see that she grew up like this, so how could you not know everything there is to know about history already? This is Egyptian, an evil eye box. The contents were meant to help sustain and provide for people in the afterlife. What were the coordinates again? Like 50 north or something? I would like to see that paper again, Lara, if that would be okay with you. Um, maybe I gotta like open it up. This enigmatic illustration recovered from a cursed and empty mausoleum might be what our brave adventurer needs to finally find the lost treasure of the White Queen. She's managed to decipher the ancient text and has found a series of clues. A set of coordinates, a giant bat, and a series of game pieces in a line. The intrepid Lara will have to figure out what they all mean. Right, that definitely looks like the game. The White Queen and then the two Red Knights. A bat though. 30 north, 90 east. 30 north, 90 east. Can we start with 30 north? This seems to control south. Can I not make it? Oh, yeah, uh, if we go up far enough. 30 north, 90 east. And we put it in the middle of this thing, I assume? Yeah? Anything else we want to look at before we- The coordinates might have something to do with the globe. The Sun King, Louis XIV, married Maria Theresa, ending a long-standing war between France and Spain. Sacrificing romance for prosperity of your country. The poor queen, Maria Theresa, died a painful death, to which the king said, this is the first trouble she has given me. I bet the poor thing could hardly see out of that chanfron. Is that the wild hunt? <laughs> Mid 14th century barding. Germanic, I think. I can't imagine how heavy those bardings were. Those poor horses. They're really strong and muscular. I think they'll be fine. The King and the White Queen. There's something in the shields. A hole? A circle? The coordinates might have something to do with the globe. Yeah, we'll take a look at it. A quotation from Chaucer. What is better than wisdom? Woman. What is better than a good woman? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Uh, going to leave this alone for the time being. Moving all of this. 30 north, 90 east. Now 
90 east. With light, unlock her love's release. It worked. Oh. Entered the forbidden mezzanine. She'll have to be careful. A Yatiri, a South American healer. Hmm. All sorts of like geographical regions and ages. A baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. I wonder if it lost its mother too. How rich do you have to be to have a freaking T Rex, a, a T Rex fossil in your house? Letter to contractor, from dad to a construction company. I just wanted to thank you for your discretion, as well as the work you have done. The vault has been constructed exactly to my specifications. The final payment will be sent at the end of the week. The delay was due to an accounting error, which has now been rectified. Yours, Richard Croft. Hmm, a vault. A secret vault? Ooh. What does that mean? Like, I just collected all this stuff? Oh, come on, we don't get to look at that? No matter where you stand, these masks seem to stare at you. Kind of like the Mona Lisa. Animal skulls, an omen of death, and symbols of great change. This looks Mayan. Is it? Cuckoo can? I wonder who those two dogs are. Well, wow, there's actually things you don't know. This is from Colombia. A Xeno chieftain mask. I wonder if these eyes have seen El Dorado. I haven't seen some of these artifacts before. And now you get to. An ossuary. This box contains the bones of the dead. I can't read the inscription. She definitely doesn't talk like a girl her age. No. I don't actually know how old she is here, but I was I would assume something like 10, maybe. This is the kind of armor that the conquistadors wore during the Age of Discovery. I wonder what they found. Mm. A statue of an Ariki from the Cook Islands. She's already very, very learned. 25th Dynasty. The interior of the sarcophagus is incredibly intricate. Oh, wow, you're right. Lots of designs even inside. The Egyptians. Very artistic people. This looks... Greek? No, Persian. I wonder what she's guarding. Oh, this one's broken. Hmm. A Persian lioness. But someone stole her head. I wonder what she was looking at. Could that mean that there was something in between here? That would be kind of cool. An African tribal mask, made of gold. Ashanti, perhaps. The death mask of Agamemnon, found in Mycenae. Wow. So much history, all in one little room. Now, what do we do here? I can turn it, but like, oh, that's the bat. The great bat swings unfurl. Ah, and it shines a spot onto. It shines a light onto spots, which I assume we should align. Okay, careful here, Lara. Just, just go down without killing yourself. Ugh. Nope, sorry. These angle switches makes going down a little bit funny. Okay. Would you want the two shields to come over? I think so, right? Because if we look at this again, can we... This is an old game. 
two shields and a white crown. Could that be the White Queen? So we can't even have these guys here. We need the shield guys down here. How can I move them? Ugh. Do I need to move other ones Ugh. out of the way first? The knight's shield reflects a light beam. So now we have another one here, but what's the easiest path for it to get over? Mm. Get this out of the way. Nothing else matters, right? Just the shields. And then maybe... Get this over here. Move this over here. I feel like theoretically, could we not just have placed a mirror here? <laughs> oh, we don't even need to put it on the thing. It can stay in the middle between two nodes as well. I was just wondering if the, the lionesses pointed to this area right here. That would have been really cool, but I think that's the baby T-Rex. So I don't know what the lionesses were pointing to. Oh, how can I free her? If I take away the ladder? Because the ladder came down because of the coordinates being right. Now I can free her! And I want to put it between the knights? Oh crap. <laughs> I sort of have this random one here. Could I just... Oh jeez, I hope it doesn't really affect anything. Hold up, hold up, let me just shovel it over here. With light, unlock her love's release. <laughs> that one random guy in the middle there. What are those anyway? Not knights, but some other peasant? I guess there's not too much we're missing here. Her heart pounding, our hero crosses the threshold into the unknown. These are mum's things. The path was dark and is guarded by bats, said the Red Knight. The White Queen regarded him with a curious smile and said, Bats! I'm not afraid of bats. I'm not afraid of anything. Tell me about this. You and me are riding a T-Rex in Egypt. Where's Daddy? At work. Hmm. Childhood because you're always in some tomb on the other side of the world. Why can't you be happy with what you have? Oh, for goodness sake, you don't have to deal with it! Dad? Please, for goodness sake, you've got to understand. This is probably the most important one I've arrived at. Well, okay, what do I do? I have to. Dad? Don't 
Even though he was kind of an absentee dad, didn't mean you want him to die. <gasps> Morning. I think that was a Trinity thing, though. They made it look like a suicide, but it wasn't. So, uh, Silver Crown Mountain? Yeah. I wonder what the jungle has in store for us today. Ugh, whatever it is, we'll handle it. Hey, it can't be worse than yesterday, right? A lot of baggage Lara has. Vest of the Empress Jaguar. <laughs> this vest was made from the hide of an Empress Jaguar who nearly killed me. Oh my god, you made a freaking... I, that's a little bit... Dark hide provides concealment from enemies. I mean... Okay? Really? That seems a little... I understand making the best out of your resources, but I, I don't know about that, man. And hey, I liked what I was wearing earlier. Why'd you make me switch? Oh, I didn't see this before, though. So this is the normal thing that we had before. Tactical adventurer. Evening star's boots. Oh, we found that in the, the crypt. Feathered boots said to be worn by Queen Evening Star. Hollow lining provides ability to harvest more natural resources from each source. Okay, oh, do we have to make it? Okay, sure. Oh, now we got, like, boots. <laughs> that looks a little funny. Boots of the Empress Jaguar. Wow, you even made boots out of her. <laughs> I mean, that's a... Th okay. Uh... Alright. We can walk around like that for a little bit. Although I still vastly favor the... Um, the adventurer outfit that we had. There's so many though, we're not gonna have time to try them all. Definitely not. This seems a little bit morbid. <laughs> okay. Skills. Now we have two points. Do we want that one with the survival instincts? Mm, I'll leave it alone for now. Are there any critical ones that we can have? Negotiate better prices from merchants. Oh, that's that's definitely necessary. <laughs> but we need three points. Eye of the Eagle. Perception plants. Okay. Puma's Rest. Increase precision by holding charged shots for a longer time. We have that. Oh. Reach full draw weight more quickly. Reduce, chime, reduce time between charged shots. Unlocks next weapon upgrade level. Okay, these are all actually really necessary too. Hmm. Okay, well, um, I guess I'll get this one because this is necessary for fighting. Let's keep going then, Jonah. Kuwak Yaku, yes. We set up camp right after killing the Jaguar. Right next to where its dead body was. Oh. Yeah. She's so stoic. Did you see like when she when she killed the Jaguar, she didn't even react. It was kind of like, well, this is what happens and that's that. But like the way that she was being stoic felt very not good. Like it felt like she was more going crazy inside as opposed to, oh, this is just, you know, what I eat for breakfast. <coughs> So I hope she's okay inside, but you know, this kind of thing might mentally break people if you if you get exposed to it too often. So much around here is there? All full up. Can't carry any more. Oh, what is that plant? Hmm. Can we use it to make stuff? I don't have enough space for that. Can I can I pre-make health items? I don't think so. I'm gonna try to rely less on the survival instincts. Because I feel like that really makes it so that you just start using those systems and you just not look at the environment anymore. But at the very end of each area, maybe I'll just use it once to make sure I haven't missed anything. Because those little document scrolls are really small. 
Yeah, there was a climbable tree back here. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Really? That one little flower, you can't carry it? Okay. If you say so, Lara. She can carry this one, though. <laughs> oh. Is that a bird or... Oh wait, is there a way that we can swing around or something? <laughs> Didn't feel like it. Maybe that was one of the ones where I had to use the grappling axe. <laughs> oh, but why? <laughs> why? <laughs> okay. Hey, oh, another place. Sorry, Jonah, just... Wait up for a second. Haha, <laughs> you know me, I gotta look around. We're not leaving here until we uncover every little thing, of course. I don't have enough space for that. Well, I'm not gonna complain, even though you have space for the other one. Oh! So if you look a little bit closely, I guess you can tell which ones are the plants. It's the, you know, the blue... The ones with the blueberries, the ones with the red berries. I don't have enough space for that. It's not nothing, but... Oh, see, I missed this one. <sighs> Oop, did that a little bit too late. Do they just have random branches here that lead to nothing, or do they actually go somewhere? But I'm not seeing where to go. Yeah, okay. Or, oh, alternatively, we can look at the map, right? Or, or not. <laughs> or not. Yeah, there's a document... Relics... Eventually, we should be backtracking because there was a challenge to him all the way in the beginning that we couldn't reach because we didn't have the axe back then. Not too crazy about it, though. I hate how this, um, this was a thing back in Rise too, but this screen is very obviously optimized for a console. It's a little bit unnatural to control with a mouse, but you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah! The one time Lara went through first, she got attacked by a jaguar. What the heck? Man, I'm really not digging that jaguar hide. Especially after we killed it like that. Let's get back to the explorer outfit next time. I don't have enough space for that. I don't have enough space for anything anymore. Is that something? Ooh. We gotta get gold ore, so we can sell it to the merchants and stuff. Hunting! Kill and skin animals to find resources for crafting equipment. And all that good stuff. Oh, hey, is that a- wait. Are we back to the beginning? That's the plane again. Video camera. This camera belongs to the X700 line. Sam had one of those. I was so jealous. It's just the thing you'd want for an expedition to find a lost monument or civilization. This is proof that there were people coming here as recently as the 1980s. Even when modernity scoffs at them, some legends still manage to inspire people. Sam would probably be more excited than Lara to find this. She could probably tell us what year this was made in too. What am I looking for here? The lens is cracked. Almost looks as though it was hit by a projectile of some type. Arrow? 
We saw people who were killed by arrows previously. Yeah, are we back to that same place again? I feel like we are. Yeah. We are. Okay, well, we don't even need to backtrack then because... Is this even the way we're meant to go? <laughs> yeah, what the heck? Oh. Yeah, well, you know, if we're here already, why not just go to that challenge tomb and the relic and all that stuff? And the flower picker, whatever that is. <laughs> no, this is where I just <clears throat> jumped from, I think. Oh. Is it alright if I drop down? <clears throat> Okay. Sorry. Oh, it it's gone. It's gone. Back to the camp here. Okay. The tomb was relatively <laughs> close to the camp, if I remember right. I don't have enough space for that. Sorry. I need you to upgrade my stuff, though. <laughs> A handkerchief. The monogram reads PHF. That has to stand for Percival Harrison Fawcett. Lots of blood. That's not a good sign. The challenge tomb entrance. We'll switch the outfits once I come back, because I don't want to, like, not use it at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't startle me. Jonah's probably kind of like, what the heck? Where did she go? Unknown area. Oh, jeez. Oh! Whoa! Oh. Oh my lord. Okay. Going for a quick swim, no biggie. What is that? Useful herbs. Some timing? Some herbs related to timing, it seems. We got the hourglass going on. By the way, Lara, earlier when the jaguar got you, don't you think long hair is a bit of a liability when you're an explorer? I mean, of course we gotta look good while doing it, but... Just so we're all on the same page here. It is a liability, though. Okay, what are we doing here? Nope. They don't seem to be affected by anything. Okay, what's the objective we're trying to achieve here? Can we start with that? This might represent one of the Lords of Shabalba. Shibalba. Underworld. Fat. Okay, cool. So it looks like somebody was trying to lift the statue out of here. Is that something I should be worried about? Mm, if we want to move, if we want to get past it, we'll have to lift it up. Which means we have to do something with this contraption here, I bet. Maybe we gotta climb up here. I'm trying to avoid using the instincts first. Let me just try at this a little bit. And then climb here. Uh, but if I let go, it's gonna go back up, isn't it? I guess not. Jungle cavern. A little bit of rest.
Yeah. Oh. I almost missed that just now. I feel like someone's gonna try to kill me again. Alright. Oh, this is so nasty, the water. Okay. <laughs> oh, somebody clearly tried to lift that statue out of here, but they didn't. Like they had the whole thing installed, but they didn't get to lift it out because they died. Judge's gaze. Those charged with crimes are brought here, and they battle under the watchful gaze of the gods, the only infallible judges. Those proven innocent may leave, but the guilty are killed and thrown to Shabalba. All right. Amazing. Is this a pocket top court? Oh, maybe this is like the actual trial area itself, like all those gods looking over you, passing judgment onto you. Wow. <laughs> Try barriers. <laughs> By the way, does she have two axes? I'm just looking at her hip, but there's two. Looks like this might be the way out. Okay, not something we need for now then. Be careful of traps. Yeah, definitely. Need to raise that ladder somehow. <laughs> Surprise witness. And in the moment the gods were satisfied Metnal did not kill his wife, a pelican landed at the accused's feet. This stunned those in attendance. This was a seabird, hardly ever seen this far inland. The representatives of the gods decided to see what the bird meant to do. It circled Metnel, flapping its wings and squawking softly, and then it opened its mouth and a half-eaten fish landed at Metnel's feet. This was understood by all as a sign of Metnel's guilt, and he was quickly executed. Oh, wow. Uh, not sure about the reliability of this witness, but okay. <laughs> like, what was the point of having a trial? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> So we can probably jump onto this again and make it go down, but why would we want to do that? <laughs> Does this go down permanently? No. No. It's gotta be associated with something. Maybe we have to attach some ropes onto some other ropes first. Like Lara said, need to figure out how to climb up that ladder somehow. <laughs> okay. Oh! Like, this would be attached to this? And then the other side would be attached to the other one? And now we gotta figure out how to... pull those down, which involves this mechanism here. Okay! I feel like we're making some progress. Okay, this one is already down though, what's going on? Oh, I can push it somewhere. Shit. The rope snapped. Okay. Okay. So now this thing is completely down. Just trying to think how the physics would work here. We have this cart here. Uh. Okay, well, well uh, let's try adding the rope back on for now. But the thing went upward, and when we jump down on it, then that's when the ladder is going to be lifted up? Is that how physics works? 
<laughs> we'll have to see. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to figure out what the consequences of our actions are just within our head, so we'll just have to try it out and see. If I can figure out how to get back up there. How do I get back up? Um, hmm. Just climbing? No, could you just like, uh, double climb? <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, like this. Okay, so now that we're back here... Actually, how do you even get over to the other side to begin with? Climbing the walls? Uh, maybe not quite. I'll need to deal with the carts now. The carts? Are the carts... How are the carts relevant? At this point, I'm not... Mm. Oh, I probably needed to push this cart underneath the thing before it came down, huh? And then I would transport it somewhere else? And this one, I would bring to the other side, but the problem is... The ladder is in the way. So I would have to get the ladder up. Am I thinking about this right at all? Because right now I'm just like, what are we even trying to do? Um. Okay, hold on. Well, I'm pretty convinced though that we bring the cart over here. And then like, you know, just on a tra- Oh! We use the cart to trap that thing. Okay, okay, wait. It's sort of starting to make sense in my head. I just gotta figure out how to like... Actually do this. Because on this side, you can jump over and reach that thing. But we don't have the cart over here. Huh. Okay, okay, let me, let me, let me have a think. That probably means that we don't even need... We don't need to put this cart underneath the statue, right? And like, I don't even know how we would do that anyway, because we can't get back up there. What a curiosity. Can you... No, this one only goes this way. I can't make it go that way. So maybe what I wanted to do here is move this cart to this position and then move this cart to over there. Because this cart is the only one that can reach that position. Okay. Need to raise the ladder. Yeah, it's talking about the ladders and stuff now. Wait. You reverted back to the previous message. Does that mean that I'm doing it wrong? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Um, I was wondering if we could get over there though. Back here? Need to raise the ladder. Not quite. Uh that's where we came from? Yes. Everything starts looking the same after a while. Really? Well, let's try this again. I feel like I sort of know what it wants me to do, but maybe not exactly. So there's not really much we can do here, except we can bring this down. The problem is though, there's no cart below for it to stay in that spot. Oh, but the ladder can be lifted. Partially. But how can I make it stay like this though? That's the problem. Yeah, cause I mean, I want the cart to go over, right? Don't I? Yeah, that's not gonna work out. Can we find a way of, like, getting over on this side of the problem? Because I want to reach that. What I want to do is I want to stand on that thing so that it'll clamp onto this thing. But, like, how do I even get up there? Oh! Oh my god. Okay, so this is how we get up. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about how long that one took me. Let's, let's move on. <laughs> Jack's journal. 23rd of May. Over a month has passed since our expedition departed from Quiaba. We have consumed our provisions methodically thus far, and continue to be in high spirits. Father's age shows when we're on foot. A few times now I have caught Raleigh looking over his shoulder and back at us to make sure we're still keeping up. Father always returns a look with a smile and saying he'll soon be the one in the lead. Oh, they've been on this journey for a month already when they first got here. And this, this journal was from quite a long time ago, wasn't it? <laughs> oh 
Oh, what are you doing, Laura? Just freaking break the rope, please. I'm begging you. Thank you. What? <gasps> I cut the rope. What was the matter? Oh, the problem? <laughs> the problem is that I was on the wrong side of the trap to begin with. Mmm. See, sometimes if I don't want to use the survival instincts, I'll have to look a little bit more carefully to see what I'm actually looking at here. That was so silly. I could have just walked through that. No problem, because I would have been on this side already anyway. Yeesh. Somebody else also got caught by the same problem. <laughs> okay, now that we're over here... No, I need to be over there so I can, like, get that thing. But... Um, maybe we gotta go back this side? Yes. If I jump here... Shit. The rope snapped. Well, that's a bit of progress. Yes, because now that this, this thing is trapped by that cart, which means I can push it over there. There you go. Okay, now we're making progress. Actual progress. Can we tie this back on? Thank you, Lara. And now all we gotta do is figure out how the hell to get back up here. And we drop down. Perfect. There. Hope this ladder isn't as rotten as it looks. Yeah, imagine after you do all that and the freaking ladder breaks. I would murder somebody. <laughs> Oh. I feel like with your climbing skills, you could have just climbed up here, you know? Good, good. And what lies here for me? Another rope thingy? Can I really make this jump? I'm very doubtful of this. But, yes, we can. I have to find a way out. Ooh, Cayman's heart. Health regenerates more quickly. Sounds pretty good to me. Judge's gaze. This was a courtroom, an ancient court. Cool. Hope we're not missing anything here. I guess we can check the map, maybe? Well, we should have collected most things. Flower picker. We can't even pick the flowers anymore because we're full. We're full on these two, whatever they are. Hmm, that's a bit of a problem. Documents. Yeah, okay. Let's get out of here first. This, we can attach over here. <laughs> Another day in the amazing life of Larka. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you for reminding me it's this way. Okay, so I think now we can probably go back to the other crypt too. The one where we couldn't go forward because we didn't have... Is that a plant? See, I thought this was pickable, but it's not. Um, but yeah, there was that one crypt where we couldn't move forward without the axe. Now we should be able to get through it. This wasn't the way we came from, was it? I don't remember this at all. Oh, Lara. Please, Lara. Without safety equipment. Oh! I think I missed one thing back there. But was it a document or was it a herb? If it's a herb, forget it. 
Uh, is that like a nest or something? Oh, whatever. Oh! Yay, two feathers. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's why she needs two axes. She needs to climb with both hands. See, I can't help but feel like I don't recognize this place at all right now, though. Maybe once we get down here? Here we go, now we're out for real. Ooh. Hey, Jonah! Oh, uh, kinda got lost in the, the camp for a little bit. That's okay, I'm back. I'm back. Can I jump down here? No. No! Oh, I get experience for doing this too. So I have to. Okay, let's go back to the camp really quickly so I can see if we can add any more new skills and then we're gonna go into the crypt to see what we can access now that we have the axe. Oh, I have one point. Probably want to save it up a little bit, huh? Okay, whatever then. In terms of outfits... We have so much stuff. Can we upgrade this anymore? Yes. String knocks. Arrow knocks on the bowstring allows for a quicker loading of arrows and a faster fire rate. Wrapped st string. Thin hide wrapped around the bowstring decreases finger tension, allowing for additional hold time. Good, good, good. Now we just need more hides and whatnot to keep upgrading. In terms of the outfits... Adventurer, Explorer. Uh, my personal preference is actually... Adventurer, again. <laughs> I love this one, I love it. Okay, let's go. But that does mean that, like, because I like this, it's not gonna give me any sort of benefits. Because this one doesn't have anything. I think it's okay for now because, you know, we're still in the beginning, and if we're- if we play well, then we don't have to care about benefits and stuff. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go back in the crypt, that crypt that we were at last time, and we'll see what was there. Okay, so we're in here again, and previously, we couldn't go because we- Oh, this is just the freaking vein of ore! I thought this was a place to go forward. Wait, so I came back for a freaking ore. I mean, okay, whatever then. <laughs> whatever. Let's get back to Jonah then. We'll never speak of this again. Okay, so this is the way that we came from to come back to the original area, but I think we were supposed to go forward. I went down there, that's right. When I was really supposed to keep going with Jonah. Sorry for the wait, Jonah. I just got distracted by a tomb, you know me. What do you think we'll find in Kuakyaku? Running water would be nice. I think at this point, I'd settle for no jaguars. <laughs> I would settle for that too. <laughs> The village? Will we even be able to speak their language? I feel like that's definitely a concern. Okay, okay. You can make that, Jonah? Alright. Hello? This house looks very modern and stuff. It's not great, but it looks modern day. Okay, with skulls. Maybe not so modern. Where the twins confer. Wait, I got a I got a map. Well somebody lived here, but no longer. 